What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you your Monday box office report. That's correct. We have a nice little holiday going on here in the States, of course. Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Um, salute your fellow soldier in your family. Give them a hug. Say, hey, good job out there. Um, yeah, so pretty much the uh, box office numbers didn't really get released till today. There was some talk um, about some of the numbers yesterday, which I'll talk about. I'll, I'll give you the three-day weekend and then just the regular two-day weekend numbers, especially for the big boy. So let's get started. All right, coming in at number five, still running pretty strong, is Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 2, and it makes another $10 million. And this is its fourth week. Uh, domestically, it's made $187.1 million. Not sure what the uh, international numbers are, but it's doing fairly well out there. So good job, Spidey. Coming in at number four is Neighbors, and it makes another $17.2 million, bringing its grand total up to $116.9 million in just three weeks. Pretty damn good for a R-rated and R-rated comedy. And I still haven't seen it yet, damn it. Coming in at number three is the other newcomer that came out this weekend that, you know, it had star power, so of course it still made a decent amount of money, I guess you could say. Blended. Mr. Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore back at it again. And uh, it made eight. $18.2 million in its first weekend, so congratulations, Adam. Let's start making different kind of movies, huh? Coming in number two is The Big Lizard, who was the big box office winner last week, and it adds another $39.4 million, which is really pretty damn good for a second week. Still running strong, and it's bringing its domestic grand total up to $156.8 million. And finally, of course, you knew it was going to happen. Number one was going to be X-Men Days of Future Past, but how much money did it make? Well, how about $111 million? Jeez, ah, that's a lot. But of course, that is the three-day weekend. Um, if you actually look at the numbers it made in a two-day weekend span, it was only $91.4 million. So it didn't actually beat out Spider-Man or Captain America or even Godzilla. Um, if you look at it as the two or as the regular two day weekend, well, yeah, it actually came in fourth. It came behind those guys because everyone else, I think, uh, I know Captain America was ninety six point something. Spidey two was like ninety three or ninety two, and Godzilla was like ninety three or ninety four. So yeah, it didn't quite muster up as much money as those ones. But I mean, then he got today, of course, and yesterday. So one hundred eleven million dollars already. So that's not too bad. And I know it's shattering. It's pretty much making some records, of course, uh, internationally. I think it got up to about 100 and, 261 million or something like that. I think it was exceeding 300 million internationally now. So, not a bad start for X Men Days of Future Past. I actually just posted my spoiler review, so if you want to hear me talk about the movie without having to hold back, and I talk about it for 18 minutes, guys. I, yeah, you know me, I like to ramble. And when it's talking about movies, I can't freaking stop, that's for sure. So, you want to check that out? It's on my channel. And uh, let me know what you saw this weekend. Did you check out X-Men? Probably a lot of you did. Did you watch something else maybe or watch something again? Let me know down below in the balls area. And also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And please visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest in movie news, trailers, and film reviews. All right, guys. I am David. You're, uh, yeah, Film Junkie dude. Yeah, that guy. And uh, I brought you your Monday box office support. Hopefully you're um, eating some good food or just relaxing. That's what I'm doing today. I'm not really a big barbecue dude. I've just kind of been working on stuff all day. Yeah. Talk to you later, guys.